What's up, fight fans? I'm Jake Otto. Welcome to the Boxing in Jedi's Temple. And, uh, well, basically, we're going to be talking some uh, some boxing today. Just want to let everybody know, if you're following me on Facebook, well, you're going to have a problem finding me there for 30 days. These motherfuckers, of course, I got into a debate with somebody, and uh, he called, you know, he tried to call me a name or whatever, so I just basically called a faggot a faggot, and they got offended. You know what I mean? So they, uh, yeah, so you call somebody a faggot, and uh, they, they suspend you for 30 days. But yet, you know, you, you call somebody a bastard or something that as to bashing a man, you know, they, they let it slide, you know. Your abortions, uh, you know, uh, bitches with titties all out on Facebook, dick pics and all that, they'll, they'll let that shit rock. But you call somebody a faggot, and, and, and they want you out of there. It's all good. So, I just want to talk about this uh, Tank Davis bullshit, all right? First of all, what I'm about to say, it's totally unbiased, it's the truth. At the same time, I don't really give a fuck who's going to come on my channel and who's going to say what. Because obviously, I, I always make you fucking faggots look stupid, real dumb, you know? I always do this to you motherfuckers, you know? And, and I'm, you know, the reason why I say I always do it to you motherfuckers is, and the motherfuckers I'm speaking to are the motherfuckers that come on here and bleed on my page. You know, you guys bleed on this channel like Mei Ling and shit, so... You know, it's not fun doing it, but it has to be done because it, it's got to be talked about. And it's the fucking truth. Now, of course, you had uh, Tank Davis with some sort of fight, which was a replacement for Mares. You know what I mean? Because Mares uh, had a detached retina or whatever he caught during sparring or whatever. All right, I understand that. It's understandable. So now they, 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 they send in his replacement. Some guy that came up from 122 fucking pounds. Okay, no doubt, a fight to fight. Okay. But then when asked about Loma, right? Mayweather came out and said, Loma's, Lomachenko's old. Uh, and he's gonna fight Tension. The same guy that, that Mayweather fought, Tension. First of all, first of all, what the fuck is going on? So let me guess, you're gonna fight tension. You're gonna fight tension, whatever the fuck, Kasegawa, Nasukawa, whatever the fuck his name is. The same little fucking Korean or Japanese guy that got beat up by Mayweather. A, a, a non boxer. A non boxer. Okay. Mayweather says that Lomachenko's too old. All of you guys are, you know, come up with this shit. Oh, well, if Lomachenko had a problem with Pedraza. What do you, you know, and, 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 and Tank Davis just walked right through him. What do you think is going to happen to Loma when he fights Tank Davis? First of all, that's a triangle theory. You motherfuckers sound real stupid. And uh, I'm about to debunk your whole shit, all right? You know, first of all, correct me if I'm wrong. My man came back from a, sho uh, a shoulder surgery, right? You know? Second of all, If that's the case, then why is it that he's fighting tension, a fucking kickboxer, but he's not going to fight Lomachenko? See, all these excuses. All these excuses by Floyd Mayweather Jr. Because he knows if you put him in there with Lomachenko, Lomachenko is going to end your business venture with fucking, uh, with, with, with this little kid. You know what I'm saying? He's with Tank Davis. It's not going to fucking work. What's going to happen between that is Tank Davis is going to lose stock. You know what I'm saying? And he's going to be you know, uh, exposed as a hype, you know, a lot of you guys that are saying, oh, well, fuck that, look, if you guys agree with him fighting someone that's a non-boxer, instead of fighting Lomachenko, you guys are out of your fucking mind, if you're going to make this permissible as to, okay, well, you know what, he got rid of this, this young guy, what was his name, Diaz or whatever fuck his name is, he got rid of this young guy, but you guys gotta understand, my man coming up two weight classes too, you know, so there's a lot of gimmicks too. So it's safe to say that Tank Davis is gimmick. It is safe to say that. It is safe to say that Tank Davis is gimmick. He's also protected. Um, you know, he's not gonna fight Loma. And if it was so much that Loma was gonna get the shit beat out of him, then why is it that uh, he's not uh, he's not stepping up to fight Loma? Why isn't he moving up to fight better competition? But now he's gonna fight Tenshin Nosakawa? Because Floyd Mayweather says so, 
All right, well, you guys can go ahead and do that. Don't be mad, though. Don't be mad when motherfuckers are actually saying that Lomachenko's better than Tank Davis, regardless of what the fuck he's doing, simply because of his fucking resume now. He's going to have Tenshin Nosukawa and a whole bunch of fucking underweight motherfuckers instead of fucking moving up, right? And trying to get a fight with the real ones. It's all right, because me personally, like I said, the, the moment Tank is going to happen, it's going to happen. The moment Tank Davis gets exposed by a real fighter, that's when you guys will start with your racism and, and all that other fucking social justice warrior bullshit that you guys are trying to pull off. But that's all right, though. You guys will understand. You guys will understand. You know what I'm saying? Once once he dares to fight someone as great, you know, there's a lot of stupid memes. You know, with, 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 uh, with Lomachenko's face, you know, with a little bruise, and then you got a, a fucking other picture with, with, uh, with fucking... Uh, you know, Tank's face unscathed after they fought Pedraza. And like I said, man, you guys, you guys look and sound so fucking stupid, okay? You guys look crazy. And I, I, I personally, you know, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm saying, you know? But I, I just have to put it out there because it's fucking hilarious. It's hilarious on how you guys actually say that Tank Davis is a way better fighter than Lomachenko, but he hasn't fought anyone just yet. He's scared to fight Lomachenko. I mean, if you guys feel so strong about this, see, this is what's wrong with you bitch-ass motherfuckers. You like to talk and talk and talk and say he's this and this and that, but you won't tell your fucking fighters, yo, fight this man, fight this man, fight this man, right? Even Floyd Mayweather's talking shit about, oh, Lomachenko's old and, uh, okay, no doubt, no problem. So just because, just because Tank Davis beat some kid coming up two weight classes, he could beat Lomachenko. Because that's what you guys are stating. That's what you guys are celebrating now. Please, he couldn't even get past Pedrosa without getting touched. That right there is a fucking casual notion. Said casually. Motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing. Triangle theories don't fucking work. And like I said, bro, I don't think Tank Davis is going to fight. He's talking about he wants to fight three or four fucking times. Yeah, okay. You're going to fight three or four fucking nobodies this year. Okay? That's what you're going to do. You're not going to take on a... Uh, anybody that's really at the weight class you're supposed to be at, you're supposed to be moving up. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. You know, it, it, it's it's gonna be what it's gonna be. You know? Of course, you've got real boxing and you have boxing entertainment. And it seems like uh, Tank Davis is just boxing entertainment. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. You know, there's nothing more to say about this issue except for Tank Davis needs to step it up. That's it. Otherwise than that, I'm Jay Cotter, your boy, telling the truth within the sport of boxing. Hashtag come back to boxing. God bless each and every one of y'all. God bless the vigilant. Thanks, guys.